Hey y'all. Uh, people have been asking for uh, a lesson of You Got the Silver for a long time now. <laughs> and one of the reasons why I haven't done it is because I, I totally forgot how to play it, you know. So I have to learn it again, which seemed like a pain in the neck. Uh, so the dilemma is, well geez, am I gonna sit and learn it again? Well, then I'm thinking, well I already posted on the, the PT channel a demo of it, right? So I can watch my demo of it and learn it and then do a lesson and teach it to you. But then I'm thinking, well, wait a second. They, that's what they should already be doing, right? <laughs> that's the whole idea of demos, right? Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch my video of it, you know, the, the demo of it, and I'm gonna learn it right now. I, 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 I know it's... Uh, I know what the tuning is because I saw on on the you know the info box on my video, you know where it's tuned, and I can see where the capo is on that video, and it's at the third fret. So that that's the tuning. So I'm gonna play it and uh, see what we can see. Okay, now I know from the tuning and from other songs we've done that uh, when you're in that tuning, you know, open D or open E, they're the same, just different, you know, different, tuned apart, but the same intervals on the string. So, so I already know from that 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 suspension is going to be what Keith is going to do. I already know it, because <laughs> that's what he does. <laughs> So uh, from there, it's a question of, okay, well, where does the slide thing go? And Except, in fact, I think on the second time through, he goes... Okay, so then it gets to the dun, dun. That's probably the part that messes people up, um, that little lick. But the, the thing, all you have to do really on that is you can hear that it goes dun, dun. Well, all you gotta do is find that note. So, what is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? And if you just sound out the notes and experiment with that, because you know this is gonna be. You know, it's gonna climb down there. So you just gotta find the note that goes with it, and it's gonna be that. Now the end part of it, that that's uh, you know a little lick that shows up elsewhere in uh, you know Keith's open tuning stuff. But it's a bit like, even though the, the tunings are different, it, I, I know that's how it goes because it, it's, a, it's a little bit like the lick from Tumbling Dice. So if we already know Tumbling Dice, you know, you can sound this one out. You know, that, that stuff. So I already know that's the tail end of it, right? So we just get... second verse. It's going to be the same thing again. Except the second time. But I think this time through it doesn't do this. I think it does some slide parts. So let's, let's listen to it and watch.
Okay, now w with with the slide part, <laughs> that that's strictly a matter of even if you can't watch and count the frets, you know, which is easy enough to do. But but even if you can't do that, there's only so many possibilities it could be, because because you're only <laughs> you're just doing that wherever you're doing it. That's all you're doing, and it's a question of where you're you're hitting it, right? But the, finding the fret should be easy enough, so I just. That sounds like it, right? I mean, that that's roughly it, just from just from sounding it out, because I know it's going to end with that, you know, uh, minor pentatonic. That, that's a typical. So I know that's going to go off the third fret, you know, just just from being a little bit familiar with open tunings and. With ba uh, elementary basic slide parts, so that, I think we kind of got that licked. You know, run through it one more time and watch it, and we really could get. You know, you know well, whatever it is, just a matter of watching it a couple more times. So let's see where it goes. I'm trying to watch it. Okay, so let's actually do the lick and, and explain it, you know, so you don't have to. Right, we rhymed it a million times, but that's uh, it's uh, mainly D and G strings, right? Mm -hmm. So from the capo, one, two, three, four, five. I get messed up because the capo. Fifth string on D, sixth on G, and then G goes suspended on and off it, so they like, both end up in the fifth. Mm -hmm. So, and then the next one is. Actually, it might be easier to put the slide on your pinky. You could do these chords a little better, but um, however you do it. This next one is D at two, G at three, and then G goes three to one. So this one is still keeping the G at one and open D string. So, but, but on the tail end of this thing, G stays covered at the first fret. Start from the top, I get confused. That's A at the second fret. You're just hammering, all you're doing is hammering on A at two and then hit D and G, but G's covered at the first. Let's into another for another verse. up in the later verse, but it's the same, you know, the same chords, and same shapes, it's just a question of pepping it up a little. But that's that's how I would do it, I would watch it just like that and sound it out just like we did now. And, and you know, I already am familiar with the song, if I didn't know the song, I'd listen to it a few times. You know, people always give me grief because I didn't play this through the entire song start to finish in the lesson video. Well, if you don't know how it goes, learn how it goes, you don't need to see me play, you know. But uh, at any rate, that's... Uh, that's how I would do this. That that's uh, you got the silver. So good luck. <laughs>